Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to the We All Juggle Knives channel. In this video, I'm going to throw this heavy throwing spike that I made from a rebar tent stake. Now this spike is a lot heavier than the previous spikes that I have shown. This is actually a half inch in diameter. Yes, this is a magnum spike. Behold, the weight on this, 9.49 ounces. Now that is more than twice as heavy as your typical rebar tent stake. There is a normal rebar tent stake which weighs in at 3.59 ounces, right? So these bigger, heavier stakes are definitely the, the magnums. And as you can see, I cut off the ends with my Dremel 4000, right? I left one stock so you can see how they come. I will include a link to these in case you wish to make your own throwing supplies, right? Now the points on these, notice how rough the point is. It's not really very pointed, after all, but I sharpened it with my work sharp. That's another very useful piece of equipment. It can also sharpen all sorts of things, hatchets, lawnmower blades, machetes, things like that. But as you can see, you can see the difference between how they come and the sharpened one. Now that's going to stick into a wooden target. That is going to pierce, right? This will be a very fun throwing spike. Okay, you want to see how this throws? There you go. This is my first throwing session. So how are you all doing these days? I hope you are doing well. I'm trying my best. Yeah, this throwing spike is a lot of fun. You know, because it is so heavy, I find it a lot easier to throw. Notice I'm throwing it from farther than farther than I threw from my previous uh, throwing spike, rebar throwing spike video, which were uh, lighter spikes. Yeah, this thing over-rotated there, that's okay. But this, uh, yeah, this thing is a lot of fun, and you're seeing a real, legit throwing session. Right, this is, uh, this is all uncut footage. No edits whatsoever. I literally just press record on my camera, and I just do what I normally do, right? So I'm letting you in on the uh, the, the secrets, the deadly arts. No, just kidding. A fun throwing session. And shooting it all in one take, number one, it's a lot easier, no editing time. So I can post the video a lot faster. Two, it forces me to, you know, work on consistency. I try to throw hard too. You know, that should count for something. With throwing, there, there's accuracy, there's speed, there's consistency, and then there's, I guess, force, how hard you throw. You know, and, and like most of you, I have a lot of rage and a lot of anger, so I throw hard for me. I just enjoy it, you know? And if you want that, if you want that tip to penetrate the skull, you gotta throw hard. No, j just kidding, just kidding. No, it's it's not um, far be it for me. You know, YouTube doesn't like us to encourage violence, so this is for sporting purposes only. All right? So far be it for me to uh, to encourage that sort of thing. I just really hate pieces of wood. I mean, I just can't stand these stumps, man. I have to pierce them five thousand times. <laughs> You feel me? But uh, yeah, I hope you're all doing well. Yeah, throwing is good exercise. I've gotten in the habit of throwing a little bit each morning. Just kind of wakes you up. It's gotten a lot colder, so it really wakes me up these days. This was filmed about two weeks ago. Yeah, see, that was stuck in there. Yeah, it took a little bit to pull that out. But in addition to being good, clean, fun, I think it's good exercise. You know how they say that... Um, Sitting is the new smoking, they say. Apparently sitting at a computer editing videos is really bad for you. Yeah, so I try to get up and stand up for a while. Stand up for at least an hour a day. Maybe doing some throwing or something. Oh, a little wild there. I think this is good exercise, though, because of the, uh, you know, you get your body into it. I think it's good for my abs and that, that one shoulder. Okay. Last throw. All right, here we go with six throwing spikes.
right? So those were three of the three magnums and then three uh, lighter ones that I had made before. Pretty fun. So you see my target, the stump is at a little bit of an angle. So I try to throw them like at the same angle so that they hit perpendicular to the surface of the target, right? Trying to form kind of a 90 degree angle, that would be ideal. So most of those were pretty good, pretty much around 90 degrees. I definitely hope you enjoyed this video. I will include lots of links that will be of interest to you, the materials to make your own throwing supplies, as well as links to throwing knives of all budgets, all price ranges, and some tomahawks that you can throw as well. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Those links do help the channel, so I appreciate all who use them. Consider subscribing if you have not already subscribed. All right, my brothers, this has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.